Double Dragon, Dragon's Lair, Online Gameplay and now Sega Partnership, shut up and take my money. If you haven't taken the IRK serious, it's about time you do. Hey guys, thanks for tuning to Toycade and it was only just 7 months ago when I did my first video on iArcade. And from then to now, a lot has changed. There has been 3 major game changing announcements which has really helped increase the Kickstarter backers. The hardware alone is a market leader against all the competitors. It is more future proof and the system itself is expandable and upgradable via Wi-Fi. Something we haven't seen in any RK1 Up offering. Before we go any further, let me know in the comments below if you're a backer and why. I'm backer 19 and I was always going to back IRK from the beginning despite its first prototype. Not very pleasing to the eye, but I actually liked their business model and they were very interactive with the community. The unit will come with 10 games preloaded, but the notable titles are really Double Dragon and Dragon's Lair. But if you back the Kickstarter now before the campaign ends, you will receive Bomb Squad preloaded as part of the pledge. Bomb Squad is the first online capable game offered by iArcade and definitely won't be the last. Game prices have been confirmed to be between $3 to $15 with an average of $5 for most. This is on schedule to be shipped in late October and the Kickstarter is ending very soon. The first huge announcement was the offering of the Dragon's Lair Premium Bundle Edition. The Premium Edition will be available for a special price of $5.49 which features Sanwa joysticks, upgraded memory from 64 to 128GB and custom Dragon Lair artwork for the full size cabinet. However, this option is not available for the bar top only package due to licensing restrictions. This is actually huge as the highly anticipated RK 1UP Dragon's Lair edition has yet to be announced. So those die-hard Dragon Lair fans can get their hand on this instead. What took my attention on this announcement was the offering of the Sunway joysticks, which I thought was kind of odd as Jong has always mentioned that the joystick in the basic unit has the same quality as a genuine Sanwa. So it does create a doubt in my mind whether the original sticks will be good enough. The second huge announcement is the IRK Black Edition, which will be available in the bar top or full size mode starting at 449 and will again feature the Sanwa joysticks and upgraded memory. Backers of the IRK Black will also receive an official licensed Double Dragon sticker as a free pre-order gift, allowing them to customize the IRK however they like. So this may sound like an odd arrangement, but due to licensing issue again, it is a workaround for owners to own a Double Dragon IRK cabinet. So essentially what you're buying is a blank black cab with upgraded parts and a Double Dragon skin when you need to apply on yourself. Now the third and final huge announcement is the partnership with Sega that will bring seven titles to their system. The games are Shadow Dancer, Space Harrier, Cyber Police, Eastwatt, Congo Bongo, Alien Storm, Crackdown and Bonanza Bros. These titles will be added to the official licensed games list and will be made available on the Arcade Game Store. But expect more games to be added before and after the launch. The partnership with Sega is a huge reassurance that there will be more publishers joining the bandwagon. Jong, the CEO of Arcade, has been transparent from the beginning saying that the purpose of the Kickstarter campaign was to generate enough sales data to present to the publishers. By showing there is huge interest in this product, which means these publishers will bring their AAA titles to the platform. So it's a matter of time when we'll see Capcom, Microsoft and publishers alike join the IRK journey. The only dilemma with this Kickstarter campaign is the number of options and upgrades available. This is my first Kickstarter campaign I'm backing so I'm not sure this is normal, but the number of upgrades and variation made during the campaign can be confusing. So confusing that sometimes it's best to wait until the last announcement is made before deciding which upgrade to take. So if you did back the IRK, let me know in the comments below which tier did you select and why. Okay guys, that's all for this video. IRK is currently live on Kickstarter and pre-order is closing very soon. I highly recommend you check them out if you haven't. The discounted price on Kickstarter is hard to ignore. It seems good value and the product and company has huge potential. In my mind, Jong and IRK are making the right decisions in listening to community feedback and applying it where they can. So, will IRK give RK 1UP Empire a run for its money? At this moment, no. They have a long way to go. But this gives them a solid foundation. But I dare say this product is a good alternative to At Games Legends Ultimate. In the description below, I'll leave links to the Kickstarter campaign and also link to the official IRK page where Jong has live streams every Tuesdays and Fridays. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to support the channel. As always, stay safe and thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.